Hi, this is Greg. Today I'm looking at Wirecast in terms of CPU usage. Now I had Wirecast open for a little bit over 24 hours. I forgot to close it. Um, no sin there, but unfortunately Wirecast at the moment is showing 100 and something percent CPU. Now there is another process above there and that process is what we're using to record the screen right now. So disregard that. Before I started the screen recording, pretty much there's only Wirecast running. If we have a look here, uh, the activity monitor, the software that's recording, Wirecast, Finder, one web browser window and just a terminal window. But what we do find is that the Wirecast CPU, as I said, is more than 100% of one CPU core when it's doing absolutely nothing. So we can see all of the layers are cleared. And I'll even click clear layer on that one, which I don't know how it wasn't read before. But we've done that now and we can still see that it's 109% CPU. I did previously report a problem with the camera um, locking up. That hasn't happened in this case, so that's good news. So the camera's working, but certainly Wirecast is not behaving as intended. So let's do a couple of other things. So we want to create a spin dump and a sample of the process. So I'll create those reports and I'll uh, make them available to Telestream and hopefully that'll help uh, solve some of these problems. So there's that first file, we'll save that. We'll do a spin dump as well. And we're t taking that spin dump now. The point is with, you know, CPU is very, very important for video processing. And too many times I've had frame dropouts and all sorts of other dropouts when using Wirecast. Now, judging by the fact that I had this open for a long time and it caused this problem, you know, the logical conclusion is some sort of a, a memory leak that happens over time, which in turn causes some of this. I don't know, I'm just guessing. But what I do know is that Wirecast is still totally unstable, both on 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, and now 9.0 beta, and now 9.0 release. Um, this is not just on one computer, this is on two computers. So on two different Macs, one of them being on High Sierra, one of them being on Sierra, so it's not the operating system. I've tried different combinations there. I've tried reinstalling the operating system on one of the computers. I've um, had reported problems of a different nature on one of the computers where I've reported that the um, virtual, uh, virtual camera feature is not working on one of those computers and I've asked Wirecast for help on how to uninstall that. That information is still pending and still outstanding as well, unfortunately. Um, still, Wirecast is causing a lot of grief and a lot of pain and it's not just me. A friend of mine, Ken Heron, he does a regular show every Thursday night USA time and he is literally tearing his hair out and he's frustrated and every single week something goes wrong. I think he's had one show out of about 40 of his weekly shows that's actually gone without a hitch. Um, and certainly last week he was calling me asking for tech support for Wirecast because it, it was getting to showtime and everything worked perfectly during his testing, but come showtime, it died in the ass again. So this is my plea to Telestream Number one, we've got to get to the bottom of this high CPU. Number two, we've got to make the product stable, right? Um, I'm here to go and help provide user feedback. Obviously, I can't do that as a full-time job, but when something happens, you know, I'm, I'm making a record and a video of that that I can show to you to prove to you, hey, here's the problem. So my cry for help to you is, please have a look at the data and please give us some feedback of what you find. Anyway, that's all from me for now. Thanks for watching.